So welcome to ESC Plus with Jamie Davis and our Irish act for this year, Sarah McTurnan. How are you? Good, how are you? And not too bad. How are you enjoying London? Oh, it's great crack. I'm sure everyone's lovely. It's great crack. Um, just walking around the street, it's such a beautiful day today. Mm. What a beautiful day to be alive. And I was going to say, come Tel Aviv, you'll be having weather like this probably every day for the next yeah. two weeks or so. I'll have to get used to the old sun. Us Irish aren't used to the sun like so. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, when I last went there, it was wind and rain throughout the whole weekend when I was in Dublin. So well, pretty much the whole year, so <laughs> <laughs> you did well just during the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, how, how, how excited are you, you know, being able to perform in London, you know, one of the biggest cities in the world, one, a musical city as well, so you enjoying that? I'm so excited, I'm so loving being here, like, it's like, it's a dream come true, like, everyone is so nice, all the contestants are in such a good buzz, and yeah, it's just such good crack. <laughs> <laughs> and, and obviously, with you coming from Ireland, you're probably aware that Ireland, of course, won it the most times uh, at Eurovision, seven times. Do you ever feel that little bit of pressure thinking, you know, you've got to, got to go out and win it or nah. take it as it comes? Pressure's for tyres. You know, you have to keep that mindset of positivity. If you start putting pressure on yourself, you start making yourself nervous and anxious, it will get you nowhere. You know, you have to ground yourself and mm. positive vibes only, and that's, that's when you get your sweet spot in performing and singing and stuff like that. So, you know, there's always going to be pressure. Singing for any country, so... Oh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and random question, I'm a big Guinness fan. Do you drink Guinness as well, or...? I'll be totally honest, no, I can't hack it. Really? I, yeah, uh, no, I have to put, like, loads and loads and loads of blackcurrant in it, and then it's too sweet. <laughs> I just can't drink it. If I'm really thirsty, I'll drink it, but... <laughs> oh, I can't, it's like, to me, it's like fruit juice over there, yeah? You have it here, it doesn't taste as good, but then when you yeah. have it over there, it's just amazing. Maybe I got a bad point the last year, I don't know. But they do say that, though, it does matter, like, you know, the quality of it, so... Yeah, oh, fantastic. Um, obviously, just just to get nearly wrap up, you, with with this only being three minutes on the stage, does it does it feel weird? Because, obviously, for you artists, you're used to doing gigs that are an hour or two hours long. But then to go up there and go, right, first song, three minutes later, oh, I'm off again. How does that, how does that feel? <laughs> That's actually a really, really good point. <laughs> if you're used to gigs, three hours, two hours, strenuous gigs of singing classic rock, roaring out of your lungs, <laughs> doing one song and getting it right can be really, really good then after that. However, you know, you have to warm up because in a gig you might have a few shaky songs at the start. You know where you're warming up or if there's a big crowd or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you've won songs, so you have to get it right. Yeah, so absolutely. It is good in the sense of, yeah, you give all to one song and, you know, you got to do it right and do it well. And, yeah, it's good, uh, like. And, and, and obviously another exciting thing is that, you know, over 200 million viewers will watch you on the night. That that must, I mean, I don't know if you feel any pressure, but that must feel amazing at the same time thinking this is this is a big moment. Yeah, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I'm actually buzzing. Like, again, with the nerves, like, I don't really, like, my mindset has been, like, you know, positive vibes, whatever. I don't really have time for thinking about nerves there. Mm. Hey, how are you? <laughs> um, so, I'm just, like, so happy to be here. So excited to go out to Tel Aviv. I'm so excited to get on that stage. Yeah, like, everything's yeah. prepared now. I'm just waiting, like, you know, so... Oh man, I just can't wait. And, yeah. and, and to wrap up, because you've had so many interviews today, you, you probably had enough by now. <laughs> okay. uh, any messages for your fans? Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for your lovely messages. Honestly, it means the absolute world to me. You mm. know, people writing me saying they love the song, they love my voice. Or, you know, it's just so nice and I really, really, really appreciate it. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Um, enjoy the gig tonight. Thank and you so uh, much. And enjoy Tel Aviv as well. Thank you so much. <laughs>